Now showing us how to soak up the sun without soaking up the water is Orly with her waterproof beach blankets. Orly, ah. this is genius. Yep. And by the way, something that could have come in handy many times. Exactly, this is so genius. Cameron Matheson, this is my last DIY. Oh my God. This is my last DIY, and Orly. I'm so happy that it's like a happy family day at yes. the beach kind of a thing. It and really you and I you are up. just sitting on the floor having fun about to paint. It's gonna oh be great. Oh my God, this is a big I know. deal. I know. Crazy. Okay, here we go. Well, so. guys, the reason that we're using um, a a shower liner okay. is actually it's the perfect marriage of all of the materials. Number one, it feels like fabric, so it's comfortable and soft, not like an actual shower curtain, which is like plastic and is gonna stick to you. Sure. But it is waterproof, like a shower curtain. So it's the perfect marriage of the two, and it's a blank canvas for us to personalize in any way we want. Yeah, exactly right. The fact that it's fabric and it's not all kind of sticky, and won't yeah. kind of, you won't yeah, stick to soft. it when you get hot, it's actually really quite soft. Yeah. I, and I I, um, I love that they're waterproof. Obviously, that's the whole point of this. Yeah. So now we're going to sort of accessorize. We're going to make them our own. Tell us a little bit about how we do that. So I recommend getting super duper large stencils, like really giant because it's a big surface and if you were going to be doing stencils for this smaller ones it would just be really a tedious project so big ones are not only really awesome because they're so graphic but they also have the benefit of allowing you to work really fast now what you want to use is something like a spray adhesive it's going to yeah. make the stenciling part fast so i'm just going to lightly spray the back of this and where you want to focus is actually on the edges where the paint would get in accidentally so what? i'm going to do a light spraying and i'm going to kind of focus as you're using that spray adhesive like it's it's going to be fine just to kind of pull that right up after it's not going nope. sort to of damage the uh the no blanket. it's a temporary spray adhesive so now you just lay it down yeah and then kind of pat it in beautiful smooth it so that now you can see it is stuck on there and it allows me to paint and, so, and like you said all the edges will be stuck down too which is where it could get a little messy exactly all right now what kind of paint are we going to be using here you want to use fabric paint okay. it's going to keep it soft and it's going to you know wear beautifully and it's never really going to fade which is awesome you are going to be doing the sponge technique which is one of the best ways to apply a stencil okay. i actually wanted to show you guys a couple different options here Good. now one option would be simply taking your paint, and this is a really cool like metallic pink paint, and actually just painting directly on it. So you would just start and you would just be painting just like this. Now, the center, you can be really free with it, obviously, because the center is all gonna get filled, but when you get to your corners, in the middle here, you always wanna go away like this. You don't wanna go in, or that's when it can start to kind of get underneath the edges. So you would go away. This, as I was doing it, I found that this actually took a lot of time. So what I ended up doing for my entire version is I just outlined my stencil. Okay. So I'm just gonna go like this. I think I know I, where you're going with it. Yep, I drew the whole thing down. These are really great paint pens um, by a brand called Artistro. I love these, they're super fun. And I'm just gonna outline it. Then when I peel up the stencil, I can just sit and fill in and just paint within my lines. And as you can see actually on the Flamingo one that's sitting there, after I did it and after I painted everything, I went around and gave it like a pop of color. And what I think is the reason that that's so great and I would do it, whether you're doing your version, the first version, no matter what, is it really makes all the lines super clean and crisp so that it never looks like anything could have smudged. So let's say- And also it'll be a little bit quicker than using the stencil for the entire, uh, the entire time. Right? 100%. Okay. So look, as I peel this- Right you can see the flamingo, it's in a, a hot pink color. And yeah. now what I would do is I would just go in and take my time, which is ac exactly what I did. And I just like sat there like this and I just went and I painted and I filled in once I had my graphic pattern laid out all over. Okay, and, and this is not, this, uh, because it's fabric paint, yeah. this is not gonna be troubled by the sand and the water and all of that. No, not by anything. And really, uh, an acrylic paint would be totally fine too. That's it not would? gonna, yeah, that's, that's not gonna come off even if you wanted it to. Okay. The reason that I like fabric paint is it just has a softer hand oh, because it's go. meant for clothing. Absolutely. So it doesn't have that crunchy effect. So you can see like on this, it's gonna stay, this also has a really cool metallic sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it has this really great metallic, but it's soft. So it's soft and it's comfortable. And you can actually see, I don't know if you can see that, but the water beating off of it. Yeah. It's really, really cool. And that's one of like, I bet I could like move it around, move the little water bubble around, but it, um, it will just sit up on the top and that makes it really easy that after a beach day, just shake it out. It'll be Perfect. dry in second, third in your car. What about washing? Washing machine, like washing totally machine. normal washing machine. It's the easiest. Orly Shani. Dude. That was your last DIY. That was my last DIY. I love you. 
I we love all you do. guys so much. You are a star you so and you are just literally a really, really, really important part of this family. And I'm giving you a big hug from over here. Big hug. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank Orly you. Orly Shady, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's amazing. For full instructions, head over to hallmarkchannel.com.